In today's video, we're taking a look at how to screw into concrete, easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So today, you woke up with concrete in your mind. You wanna screw into concrete, and we mean a real screw. For that other thing, that'd be another channel. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. The first thing that you're gonna need is a hammer drill. And you would need this drill compared to a regular drill because a hammer drill delivers more power in the form of a hammering action, making drilling in concrete or masonry smooth like butter. But we never said you're not gonna break a sweat. And you have two options. You have anchors or Tapcon screws. The good thing about these blue screws is that it's gonna avoid you from using any anchors. And they usually come with the drill bit including. So there's no guessing on having the correct size. No matter which you choose is gonna be the same technique. When choosing your anchors, screws, or drill bit, you wanna make sure that they're used for concrete. Second, you wanna make sure that the size of the drill bit and your screw are the same and more in width. Because on height, you can control how deep you go. If using an anchor, then you want your drill bit to be the same width as the anchor. But if you get a kit, it takes the guessing out the game because everything comes already included. In this case, the drill bit is a 532 and you can see that it is the same width as the screw. And remember, that's not counting the head. You always want the head to be wider. Now that we filled your head with specs, we can get to the part of the video where you show some muscle. This particular drill is a chuck and key one, which means we have to insert the drill bit to the chuck, move it by hand until we get it tight, and then finish it off with the key. So now you roll your sleeves up and show those muscles from Thanksgiving. This is where that extra plate of food you got for the holiday comes into play. Once you feel it tight, you're done you're gonna see a death stop bar, which you adjust to the height of the screw. So when you drill, you won't make a bigger hole than needed or smaller. And this is something that we install on the death stop clamp twist to tighten until it doesn't move. When using the hammer drill, a pro tip, you always wanna verify that the death stop bar doesn't go loose because of the hammering action, the clamp could go loose at any time. Another pro tip, putting a piece of tape on the drill bit where you wanna stop, it is another way to go. And because we can't have a static box video without any button pressing, you should verify on your hammer drill and set it to the hammer action. The one with the drill bit picture is for regular drilling and the one with the hammer is for hammering. Now that we passed that calculus class, we're ready to start hammering. So in our case, we're placing a metal threshold between the hallway and room. But this technique works for any material that you're using. If yours doesn't have pre-holes already made, then you would have to do them beforehand. First, we're gonna place the metal bar on the floor and mark where we're gonna make the hole. And always remember the ancient rule of measure twice, cut once. In this case, measure twice, paint the floor once. Because we're going over vinyl on the first part, we're gonna set the hammer drill to the drilling side. Once we cut through the vinyl, then we can set it back to hammer drill and start hammering on the concrete. Once we feel the depth stop bar touch the floor, we stop. Depending how big your hole is, you always want to vacuum the excess concrete powder that you get because as the powder accumulates, it might give you a wrong depth measurement. So if you're doing a big hole or a long hole, you want to stop, vacuum, and then drill again. In our case, because it is a small hole, we're only going to vacuum at the end. Another pro tip, you want to take your screw and do a test on the first one before you go ahead and keep drilling the other ones and then lose the kingdom of your household. Now that we confirm that everything's looking good, we can proceed with the next one. And we're basically gonna repeat the process. If you're using an anchor, you wanna verify that the anchor fits on the hole. You don't wanna place the screw until the end because once you place the screw, the anchor gets bigger and tighter on the hole, preventing it from moving. But usually, if the anchor fit, the screw will fit.
We're ready to place the screws now. You can use a screwdriver, an impact driver, a regular drill, or just set your hammer drill to drilling and go from a drill bit to a screw drill driver bit. In our case, it's a Phillips screw, so we're using a Phillips head bit. And you basically want to drive the screw until you notice the first stop. You don't want to drill more than that because if you're using an anchor or drilling straight to the cement, it's going to lose its grabbing power. So once you feel the first tightness, that's good enough. We know you want to show your muscles, but you can leave that after the party. And now what we're going to basically do is repeat the same process. Now that you become a robot on repeating the same thing over and over again, Robocop doesn't have anything on you. You can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You have showed the universe that you are still king, queen, both or none of your castle. You can go to the fridge and grab yourself a ice cold, bubbly, liquid gold seltzer water. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.